Alright everyone, I'm back with round five, the Clash of Champions, and this time I have Anthony Alvarado. Um, I know he's on Chaos Turbo, and I also know he's on an interesting list. I saw three Solemns in one of his replays. He's on Phoenix Wing Wing Blast. He has Dust Shoots in the main deck, Kaiku in the main deck. So yeah, it's a pretty crazy list. All right, so um, a lot of people might think that the play is Spy Ring here, but it's actually Spy MST versus. The Turbo Mirror versus Warrior, you, yeah, you do Spy Ring, but versus the Turbo Mirror, you do Spy MST because spot, uh, MST hits stuff like Jar of Greed, Trap Dust Shoot, just those chainable cards, and Ring would only really do something to a Breaker, and you don't really care about Breaker because there's a Spy there anyway that I want Breaker to attack. Uh, yeah, so Spy MST versus the Turbo Mirror. He sets double back row and a monster. Uh, you don't want to get too cute or anything with the MST, just activate it. You want to hit Dust Shoot, you want to hit Jar of Greed. Hitting pretty much anything is completely fine. I hit Wing Blast, so see that, that would prevent, if he maybe had a Serpent in his hand right here, he could set me back a little, not allowing me to flip this Spy. Uh, play here is pretty obvious, you just go flip Spy, then use Knock, and I will go for Attack Mode Spy to just deal 2400. It does play into Mirror Force, but it's just not really worth worrying about. If they Mirror Force, they Mirror Force. It's still just a, really just a one for one. And like, if you go Attack Mode Spy, Defense Mode Spy, they won't Mirror Force this. So basically you'll just be dealing 1200 a turn. So basically they get like double the time to find answers. So yeah. In general you just want to go for aggression here. At least with the nobleman in hand. Uh, here I thought about setting both traps I end up just setting one though, just because I think I, I didn't know that he didn't play Jar Greed at this point. So like, let's say this backer is Jar Greed and he just goes Jar and then Heavy Storm. Basically I get crushed. Now it could definitely be Solemn. Or his own MST. But I was okay with that and then still having ring for something else after. So I decided to only set ring I could break here. He goes for Kaiku. Um, so I'm definitely thinking here it would really suck if he has Solemn but even if he solemns, he would drop down to 2800. And I would still have a defense mode spy plus ring to deal with the kaiku. Um, if I let this go through, then what's my plan after that? I would just go defense mode spy. 
and then pretty much just set ring pass. But by playing the Trigeki Break, you force an action. Like, if he doesn't have Solemn Set, he's just going to get destroyed by Spies. If he does have Solemn Set, he'll be down to a thousand with Ring. It is Solemn. So that's another two back rows. And I draw Tsukiyomi, which is very, very good here. I summon it, and he solemns. I go defense mode spy, set ring. He sets a back row and ends. And at this point, I just want to end phase ring, just in case this new back row could be like a third solemn. And that's going to be game. Let's see what he had. It was third solemn. And he had Wing Blast here. Regeki Break would have saved him. Cool thing to note. So I drop very good. Always like seeing Pot a shoot first turbo. Even going second. So he starts upstart, pot, and thunder dragon. So he also opens strong. Sets two back rows and a monster. And then flips that shoot. So his only option is the night assailant. Uh, so basically this hand... If Pot gets solemned, I lose the game automatically. So I have to use MST. I already know he plays three solemns, and I know he will 100% solemn Pot. So I have no choice but to activate MST right here on his MST. I play Pot, which gives me Spy Faith. Uh, play looks very obvious to me here. Uh, you want to set Spy along with Dust Shoot. Uh, you get to see what's going on in the hand and see if it's safe to set the Faith the following turn. Uh, the question is do you set Mirror Force? And I believe the answer is yes, just because his set can be Spy. And he will just go flip Spy and knock Spy. So you'll want to have Mirror Force there to protect. And I don't wait here because I know I know that he knows I have Dust Shoot, so he will be able to maybe like set some cards so I won't have knowledge so you just want to activate it right now and his hand is not that strong well it's kind of strong but does shoot actually just kills the hand because I couldn't answer this magician of faith and now I just put the faith back and all he has is Kaiku, Knock, Tribe, two Thunder Dragons. And I can answer the, the aggression from Kaiku and Tribe because I have Mirror Force and Snatch. He goes for Flip Spy. He goes defense on that spy. Hmm. Should he go defense? I know he knows I have mirror force. Which, uh, so he knows I won't mirror force this. Is he trying to maybe bait my snatch on a spy? No, 
He should get a double spy in attack mode here. For sure. I think. And he just has to pass. I draw a Regeki Break. I will set Faith. Uh, do I set a Regeki Break? I don't think I need to. Uh, let's think. If he draws Duo... If he draws Duo, I will prefer to have Regeki Break in hand because Faith will get back Pot and I don't want him to get a 100% shot at the Pot. Yeah, so that's why Regeki Break stays in hand, plus even if he drew Heavy, I would not want to chain Regeki Break to that. He just attacks again with one monster, and I take Pot, he sets a back row. I don't have Dark yet. Uh, kind of unfortunate if he drew Solemn here. Um, definitely not setting Regeki Break and waiting, though. Even if he does Solemn, I would have Snatch to Crash Spies together, and then have Mirror Force or Kaiku. Uh, Pot gives me Thunder Dragon and Breaker. Uh, notice I held priority after the pot and then used priority to discard Thunder Dragon because he definitely could have had a dust shoot hold when I have a pot in hand. So he does not have dust shoot. I summon breaker and use the effect. So I believe this was a mistake from him. He definitely should have just solemn the pot. And he basically got max punished by not doing that. And I just attack. I could snatch, but there's no reason to. And now I set the Regeki break. Because I can set up some OTK, not OTK necessarily, just I get to Regeki break a back row and really press hard with BLS if I choose to. He goes for breaker. I think hard about this one. Because I know he knows that this card is Mirror Force. He doesn't know what this card is. If I Regeki break the Breaker, what happens? Well, nothing really happens. I would then have to Tribute Breaker for Thunder Dragon followed by BLS. But that loses out to his in-hand tribe, so I wouldn't be able to do that. So I just decide to do nothing here. Let him destroy the mirror force, let him crash breakers. That's actually excellent for me. And I draw Chaos Sorcerer. Um, so if you, if you look at the hand, there's a lot of potential damage here. I only have one dark in the grave. Um, if you autopilot this, you'll miss what I'm about to do. There's actually just a game shot here. Uh, and I'll just show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to drop Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, don't Banish. Tribute for Thunder Dragon. Summon BLS. Snatch the Spy. Go to attack mode. Attack for 28. Now what's he got left? 48. I just need to regeki break my own snatch, which gives him spy, which gives me an 
additional 1800 damage for BLS. And that's game. A lot of people definitely could have missed that. And he wouldn't have drawn anything good anyway, but. Well, he did still have Tribe, of course. But if I make a passive line like Chaos Sorcerer, uh, with this hand he has, imagine he goes draw charity. And suddenly he's like way back into it. So it's very important that you don't miss these game shots. Alright. That's the video, and I'll be back with round six.